In this screencast, I'm going to walk you through the new RGBlock version. I've got the file loaded up to the topics page for you, so go ahead and click on that. And then you'll have the uh, option here to download the new version. Down below, it'll say, do you want to keep this? We're going to go ahead and keep it. Once it's done downloading, you want to right click on it and do show in folder. This should all be done in Chrome. Chrome will work much easier for this. And you've got this new one will come up highlighted. You might have the old ones. Actually, I think you, you were, the network will get rid of the old ones for you. So then you're going to want to go ahead and do a new folder, new Windows Explorer folder. Go to Documents. Um, if you need to, go ahead and do My Documents. And that'll give you the option for Arduino. And this is, we're going to go into Tools, RGBlock Tool, and then Tool. Once you're in the Tool folder, you can go ahead and take the old RGBlock Tool and delete that. Yes. And then come over to the Download folder and drag in the new one. Copy the new RGBlock Tool into there. Then we can open up our Arduino folder, our Arduino program. When that opens, go to Tools, go to RGBlock, and now you should see this newer interface here. The, um, there's a couple key differences with this. Here, the main program, uh, you have this setup and loop feature. Before, we just had this loop. Um, you would use either one of these, and we'll go ahead and do a program probably real soon that I'll use this one rather than this. So this adds a little bit of, uh, additional functionality. The delay function is hidden on here, so a lot of it's the same. You, you still have these same loops up here, you still have the same pins, um, but you have to go into generic hardware to find the delay. Uh, that's kind of hidden away. You might not find it otherwise. Um, go to generic hardware. Uh, this also has a save as, so you could save a program as a different version in case you want to try something out, and then you could still have the old one and revert back to that. All right, as long as we are in these files here, why don't we go back to my documents? All right, so go to Documents, and then make sure you are in My Documents. Let's do a new folder. So you click on the New Folder button at the top, and let's call it um, RDoBlock Programs. This way, if we want to do save something, we can go ahead and save it in that RDoBlock Programs folder. Some people have had uh, a few issues with saving. Uh, this will take care of those issues. So you go ahead and name it. You know, this would be Adam Program One, something like that. All right. So that's just a little bit of housekeeping to take care of at the start of class today.